Okay, as I said earlier, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the full set now that I have the full set. Uh, we'll just look at the packaging first. Um, this is, uh, by the way, Wave 1 of the 2011 Nostalgia series, which are, you know, a, a small, there's only eight figures in this set, so it's a, a small collector set. They ran about $4 and something, so they're more expensive than your standard Hot Wheel. Um, but they're a little bit better made, which we'll get to that in just a second. But they came packaged on two cards, two different cards. Four of them are packaged with Skele on the Skeletor card. The other four are packaged on the He-Man card. Um, obviously you have the Masters of the Universal logo. And in the background, you have the green gray stone of Castle Grayskull. And kind of a cool little touch, which I really didn't notice at first, um, because I just didn't think about it, is you also have the crenellation here from uh, one of the parapets on uh, on Castle Grayskull, which I thought that was cool. That you know really lent to that feeling of a castle. On the back of both, uh, you have here an uh, image of all eight vehicles in the set. And uh, those vehicles are the 59 Cadillac Funny Car, the 29 Ford Pickup, 50 Chevy Truck, the uh, 49 Ford COE, uh, 57 Buick, 34 Ford Sedan, the Dairy Delivery, and the Custom 77 Dodge Van. Uh, also here on the front, there's these two little logos over here on the side. Um, this one here, metal slash metal, that means these are basically almost completely die cast. The bodies are die cast, the chassis here on the bottom are die cast, and they're pretty hefty. When you hold these in your hand, I mean, they feel heavier than your standard um, Hot Wheel. Uh, real riders, um, that's to do with the wheels, and honestly, uh, um, I'm not quite sure what real, <laughs> what the real riders is. I believe that they're just their, their rubber wheels, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, and I think these, these roll a little bit nicer than your standard wheels on the Hot Wheels. Like I said, I'm still new to the Hot Wheel thing. You know, Colin's really into them, so, you know, when we go to the stores, we're always looking at the Hot Wheels, and, you know, he's been... We were, we have been buying and collecting several of them for him, and, and I'm starting to find myself getting into them as well, um, considering the price hikes and the quality issues with uh, Hasbro lately. These these kind of are a little bit more fun to collect than Transformers right now. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and kind of look at these up close here. Um, you know, each one of these has. A graphics that's that have been tampered on here um, based on which faction they're assigned to from the card so here on top we have Skeletor I cannot remember the name of that horse one thing I also noticed about these lines again since I'm really just getting into these the paint on these the quality is 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 really really nice I mean you know putting these up next to your standard Hot Wheel they really put a lot into it you know, the, the, um, most of this paint has this nice metallic flake in it. Um, you know, they've done the graphics here, but then they've also done a, a clear coat over it as well, which really um, helps the paint job stand out, and, and I think probably protects it pretty well, as um, you know, down the line. Some of these also have, I'm just looking here real quick, not only do they have these graphics, but they have other little details. This one does not, but we'll look here. Um, little details that kind of... Um, you know, give little nods to Masters of the Universe. This is the 49 Ford COE. And you see here the graphics on the side here. But like over here, it says Masters of the Universe Transport. Those are some of those little details like, was, like I'm talking about. They're, you know, like license plates and different things like that. But that would be this one here. It's a nice little truck. I believe this part here is plastic while the rest of it is die cast. So that one there. Let me grab the others real quick. Alright, so here we have the 50s Chevy truck. This is definitely Skeletor. It's got the dark purple and the light blue. you got Skeletor on... Um, I'm really sorry. It's late at night and I can't... My, you know, my brain is just blinking out on the names of these, these characters. But... Um, and here you have the Masters Universe logo on top, plus the graphics on the side. Just looking to see 
but that's the only graphics this one seems to have. That's a nice little truck. Let's see, let's get the dairy delivery because that one's also with the, the Skeletor. This is the one that, that uh, you know, well at the beginning I, I needed to finish this set. The reason this one was so difficult to find is there were several errors on this set and apparently this one was known to have been packaged on the wrong card. So people were crazy trying to get a hold of this one. This one also has a, a license plate on the pack. S-K-L-T-R. Skeletor. So th that's this one of those little details that you know I see pop up on a few of these. But um, this one's not an error one, but still. Pretty cool. Here's the Cadillac Funny Car. I really like the graphics on this one. That beast man getting slimed. And the, the body of this does lift up to uh, reveal the, the engine and the chassis and all underneath. This is a pretty cool car. Oh, let's see. We've got three left. This one's nice. The 29 Ford pickup. has got Orco on the side. Masters of the Universe logo here on top. Then on the back, MOTU. Like the little logo for the vehicle, you know, like you see on the tailgate on the trucks. Cool truck. I'm saving my favorite one out of this bunch for last. Here we have the 34 Ford sedan. There's the logo there on top of He Man. Master of the Universe. And this is the last of the carded ones. This one is kind of, woo, focus, focus. This is one of my favorite ones because this one's, you know, just throwback 70s van, you know. It's a nice gold. You get this clear see-through top so you can see the seats inside. And the graphics on Battle Cat. It's got the Dodge logo down here. Right there on the door. Nice cool paint job. Pretty cool. So those are the individually packed ones, but the thing that actually tipped me off to this uh, wave in the beginning was this set. This is actually what I found to begin with at Toys R Us, and it's this four-pack gift set. And I thought it was really cool. I love the packaging because it's got... Yeah, Master of the Universe logo. Let me zoom out just a hair. There with the, the stones of Castle Grayskull. And as we turn around, that's what I saw originally that caught my eye. Love the back of this box. Really cool. And I didn't see very many of these. So these were hard to come across as well. Um, there was a lot of errors for these. Um... <clears throat> where the cars were packaged and painted but were missing their graphics and uh, I found those were going for quite a pretty little penny on uh, eBay but um, and it's four completely different cars from the, the carded ones um, the graphics are similar a couple of them are different let me flip this over let's see here we go it's a 64 GMC panel the bread box Deco delivery and double demon delivery. Ooh, I just noticed. I should say delivery, but it's a typo there. Perhaps that's another error that's on these. I'll have to look that one up. But, uh, here's the panel truck. It's got that graphic with Skeletor on the horse here on the side. And these are also the, the all die cast like the other ones. This one, I the graphics up on top and unfortunately the way it's packaged you're not able to really see it very well can't quite tell what it is here you have He-Man on Battle Cat Master of the Universe logo on the back and then that's the little armored uh, He-Man here on this logo 
So pretty, pretty nice. Like I said, I've, I've, I've gotten more and more into the Hot Wheels as of late. Um, even just the, the standard ones. Um, in fact, I just shipped off a, a treasure hunt to, uh, to Rimfire down in San Antonio yesterday. So, um, like I said, I mean, the price on, on the Hot Wheels are significant. I mean, are, are a tiny fraction of what, what the Transformer collecting is running these days. So, that's, that might have something to do with my, my current interest. But these are not out in the stores anymore. I mean, if you're lucky enough to have a Mattel outlet near you like I do, you might be able to find some of these, um, which, you know, getting those there, they'll be pretty deep discounted. Um, you know, there's definitely sets on eBay. Um, you know, I've seen pretty reasonable prices to insane prices on these. But um, there's actually one more Master of the Universe car, um, and I... I said in that video earlier that it was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive this past year, and um, but it's not one sixty fourth scale like these. It's one eighteenth, so it's it's one of the larger, big die casts of a uh, VW. Um, I think it's like a funny car type thing, but it's a VW bus, um, purple with Skeletor on the side. Really neat car, but. <laughs> It's over two hundred bucks. Uh, I don't. I don't see myself getting it anytime soon. So, anyways, just wanted to share this collection with you guys, um, and I thank y'all for watching. Bye.